it's Nottingham. It'll be good to see Vili again. Pour the meat! Eivor has come to Snottingham! Skull! Make sure the supplies are secured. We may set off at any moment. Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trigve, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Vili? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Vili's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Hemingryal looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Vili and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Vili's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Hemingryal is an ox. So he is. And he'll be pleased to skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come. The swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. Eivor, the Raven Clan's Wolfkist. You'll soon have more names than the Old Father himself. I've traveled far spilling the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! Ready the sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. I remember when Vili and I were small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But I do not remember you telling us how you came to serve him in Ayal. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. I suppose I will explain to you now. Skadi had sent us a harsh winter, and much of our clan was starving. Sail out! Feed us. My... Picks ashore! Protect the convoy! Oars, back us around! The convoy is laid bare! Picks on the rich! Guard the convoy! Shield! Shield! Shield. Oh, no. The convoy remains, Wolfkist! The convoy is unscathed! Hemingar will be pleased! Make for the dark! We can continue. Careful, Eivor. These supplies bring fire to the Ulkathorpe siege. Hey! I have orders Rescue to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Vili and Heminga Jarl will be pleased. <laughs> Freya's kiss. You came. Welcome. Your son sent for me, Heminger Jarl. One of the happier messages I have had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifur. Strong. Healthy. I was told you were ill, Himminger. I hope these stories are bigger than the truth. <coughs> of course, of course. You know how rumors grow. 
a fish the size of a hand at catching is the size of a man the next morning. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon, before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stonebird, should any Pict escape. It will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You are not slurring, Willy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorp. Trick V and Eivor have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower the war chief's weapon in hand drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? We can snatch glory together, unless you're too frightened to fight beside me. Oh no, this is a contest now. To the top of that tower, and the pick chief is the prize. For all times, then. And new alike. Fight, Heminger sons. Bring victory today. For tomorrow, we feast. The pig chief hides behind his men like a coward. No doubt he will be well fortified. I should not be seen in this area. I will have his head for Heminger Yarl. The chief will make a stand in the tower. There, the chief. Damn it, Ort! You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I am fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. I 
clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. <coughs> and they love my son all the more. But he lacks the trust of our Danes. And I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son. He thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Vili who summoned me? Or you, Heminger? I thought you would come faster if it was Vili's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it. Of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trikvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. Both men are honorable, but they do not hold a bearded axe to him in our Jarl. Let us not burden ourselves with the Alding choice yet. your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer. Philly waits for you below. Billy. There you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right, but if I don't faint at the sight of them, you have oversold the view. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well, I think. You taught me to fight empty air, Vili, and trees and snowdrifts and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once, and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who has had one too many blows on the head. That tower there, it recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule Feast, I'll have you remember. It is good to ride with you again, Arstek. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Eivor the Pantless. A head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen? Is that what you call your house? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Stonebird. Was Trigvi not sent there by father to help? We must go! Here! Eivor! What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. No survivors here. But there may be others that still draw breath. Leave your things! Get to Trigvi! We'll be safe with him! to safety. Here. There's nothing you can do now. Get to safety. Billy! Where are you? Answer me! We need to clear a path. Get the man, Eivor. You carry the woman. Hi. Niflheim will have to wait. You are staying here today. <coughs> oh, thank thee, old father. <coughs> Hold on to me. I can get you out. Oh, thank you, Vili. Thank you. I draw breath because of you. I thought I might have to rescue you, Vili. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Vili. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. 
It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same arse stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinderdunfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Heminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Billy wasn't taking it well. Billy lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Willy myself. Why won't you just stay still? <clears throat> this one first? Then this one? <clears throat> no. Can you tell the stones to stay still, please? I need to build a stone man so it will protect me from the picked people. I keep trying, but I just can't do it right. Whoa, you're really good at this. Stay still, stones. Or else the bad pig people will come for me. Think of this as a test of mind and wit. Stack the cairn stones high and wide. But they keep falling. You have to let the air and nature's beauty guide you. Shape, balance, expression are key. Oh, wow. Thank you for showing me how. Steady your hands and your heart, tiny giant. Goodbye. Billy was right. The Kinder Downfall is beautiful. Now where is he? It's a cool dark day. Hell's door is ajar. Little cops of mine go. Bravo. You found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard your singing. Your crow's craggle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the picks, they've worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. Have a look at my father. A battle-worn veteran, carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I'd use just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Willy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the corpse hall, you will take his place, as expected. The 
novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You are to be Jarl, Vili. Your father expects it. The people of Snottinghamshire expect it. I only want sun on my skin and an axe in my hand. Ale and adventure. Not the staid life of a Jarl. You defy a long tradition, Vili. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor... I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England. You are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father. He hasn't got long. Come to the longhouse. Heminger Jarl is at the edge of death. I must see him before he goes. Will Heminger Jarl go to heaven, Mother? I... 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 Oh, dear Heminger. Our Jarl. Hey, Lord. Hold on to that feeling, and take it with you to the Hall of the Slain. You have become a great warrior, Eivor. A warrior and a leader. Worth, worth song and verse. I had many good teachers, Heminger Jarl. You, chief among them. I beg of you now. Do not. Let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. I watched you grow. A dirty-haired boy, swinging sticks and running through the mud, dreaming of glory. I... I am proud of what you have become, son. <laughs> and I am proud proud of what you will become, no matter I, uh, I, uh, uh. Father, Vili. We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of the Shire.
The nobles have begun to arrive. Trigve needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. What a perfect figure you have. Poised, powerful, perfect. Me! Mm, yes. I cannot help but wonder, is your flighting as striking as you? How do you mean? I draw smiles from the women and winks from the men. I'm a poetry lover who's scaled with his pen. If you fancy a round, then approach and come speak. If you're lustful for verse, then I've got what you seek. I'll flight with you. Perfect. Would you like to make it uh, interesting? With a wager, I mean. My wager. Thank you. Are we ready? Let's begin. What know you of the power of fleets to seduce? Are you even aware that they have such a use? See, your weapon lies not in your belt, but your head. With words, I'll ensnare you and put you to bed. Yes! I could feel when you entered, the room became warm. Though I doubted your flighting, I quite liked your form. On your every word, I can say that I'm hung. I'm as good with my lips as I am with my tongue. Yes, more! I could fleet more sweet nothings inside of your ear. Though I warn you, there's some of the lewdest you'll hear. But instead of just telling, I'll happily show. While I doubt you can take me, I'll give you a go. That was delicious. It's rare that I meet one who can keep pace with me. So, uh, what do you say? Shall we find somewhere and exchange a little more than, uh, words? It was only a flight. My winnings, please. Yes, of course. I was only... It was just a game, yes? Friendly banter? It's been a true pleasure. Good. It's a draw. This has never happened. Hmm. What about the tall one? Can we ask her to help break this tie? Good idea, Froda. Tall one, sit by the hayside if you vote for the woods. For the river, the side with the sacks of beans. The answer is clear. We shall play in the woods tomorrow. Aye. Now, on to the next great matter. <coughs> We need a name for our merry band. The choices are Raiders of the Cake or the Shadow Dragons. Stools on the hate side are for Raiders of the Cake and side with the sacks of beans for Shadow Dragons. Pick your seats. Tall one, you too. Just in case we end up in a tie again. <laughs> It looks like we are tied. For now. Tall one, we need your help once more. It is final. We shall henceforth be called Raiders of the Cake. I like cake. Cake is delicious. Now on to the next vote. Ahem. What should we do if we manage to capture a picked soldier? Stools on the hayside are for beating him up. Side with the sacks of beans for taking him prisoner. Vote! It looks like we are tied. For now. Tall one, we need your help once more. The seats have spoken. We shall show no mercy. The badge of courage. 
knowledge will be given to those who voted as such. You too, tall one. Thank you, children. Remember, never go easy on your enemies. Froda, write that down. The tall one's words will be remembered. Thanks for the help, tall one. The next generation inspires confidence. Snottinghamshire is in good hands. Did you hear what happened to Archibald? Aye, the drunken fool. I was there when he lit the thing on fire. We all told him not to, but he did, Tempfe. You saw it all. Go on, tell us what happened. A miss, Wilfred. They're true. A legendary picked warrior who can rip a wolf apart with his bare hands. You saw him? I don't know what we saw. Not exactly. But there's something up there. Archibald held up his torch all brave-like after lighting the fire. The next thing we know, his head dropped to his feet. We ran. Should we at least fetch his body? Huh. You can. I won't go back up that cursed mountain for all the silver in this land. Speak your name, warrior. Have it your way. Your life's purpose was to die for me. So, he speaks. Here your legend ends, bound to no name.
Let's see what lies in store. One more enigma to unravel.
must serve some purpose. To the halls will be heralded by roaring flames. Eivor. Drengur. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemingur Jarl. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trikve. I pledged my life's oath to Heminger Jarl. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the Shire to see. You've done well, Trigve. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later, to save you from them, once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthorpe's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He's a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> it was something... I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of Heming Ayal. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Himminger desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It is a good idea, but let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. This is an outrage! Our strong feelings for Hemming come with much grief. Festive. Too festive, and too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyres lit. Gods! Have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trikvi. I'll do what I can to calm things. They are going to kill him! No, I told him not to do it! No, Come not. out, you dung-eating rat! What madness is this? You dare wash our beloved Hemingir with your filth! I asked you a question, friend. There's a Saxon within. One stupid enough to try sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. Now he cowers behind a locked door! I only did right by his immortal soul! You will get what is right for you! Calm yourselves, all of you. I'll speak with him, unmask his true intentions. Get that stain out here now! Oh, my 
my god! The people are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here, on your own, before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please. There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. <laughs> You've got the key! Use it! Get that stain out here now! Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. You'll pay for your wrongs, desecrator! Enough. Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Heminger. I swear. I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Was it your Christian holy water? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord. Never inflict your Christian mysteries on a dead Norseman. But I only... These are your neighbors. Respect them, learn their ways, and you will draw breath long into old age. Oh no! There you are, baptized as one of us. If this is your Voda, I managed to save it from the licking flames. You dared Surtur's heat, yes! A most potent drink, distilled from grain by the Rush of Kiev. Dip your horn and have a drink. A bit of drink in the belly never hurt. Watch yourself. The Voda sneaks up on you quick. Did what? How dare he insult our culture? Did you see that sobbing sack of meat with the roosters? What an arsehole. Stay back, foul! Flee, warrior, flee! Loki's horn lays waste here! You mean Hemminger's famous fighting roosters? Dragons with mighty claws! Save me from their wrath! Thank you, mighty Thor. You've saved my life. When you sober up, steer clear of roosters. The order seems to have been restored. Now to trick me, to let him know. I have calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heminger would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trikvi. With time. Yes, it will. With Heminger Yard gone, can Lily hold the reins? Will he guide us through? You are the wolf-kissed one. The raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Heminger left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten. Before the pyre is lit. Follow. Come, creatures. You are to serve the gods, and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingriad with ale and open arms. Do you have the gift of foresight, Seer? Can you augur what is to come? I see what need be seen, when it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Hemingriad consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet, too often, he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less, lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. 
As you wish. Vulva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the gods' wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trigvi, there is no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. This is the summit. To seek an answer, I should clear my mind and still my heart. Heming a Jarl, is it truly you? Of spirit, not of flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's hall? I will in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. A struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Hemminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We're only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my fate then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. I remember you. You left me too soon, Heminger Jarl. Your Shire's fate is uncertain. is blunted by indecision. You lead warriors now. Never waver. You did, Heminger Jarl. You did. That is why my words should land through. Trust your judgment. You pushed me, Heminger. I never intended this. 
Have no regrets, Eivor. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up? And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good, but it needs a touch of grandeur, something personal for your father. A sigil, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear? Did he not wield it at Ulkethorpe? He lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The odds are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. This must be the cave Philly mentioned. Who would live here? The exile must value his solitude living in a hole such as this. You're a difficult man to find. Uh. Heming Ayal is dead. Mm. I was told you're a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heming Ayal. The stones. Heming Ayal possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? Could it be at such a time? Heming Jarl's heart never wavered. Who are you? A friend of Emminger's? Or a man exiled by his order? It does not matter who I was. I am nameless now. I am no one. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? How will you remember him? 
by his determination to keep his clan safe and his people celebrated. The mark of vague Visir. Sights never lost. Is this your decision? Yes, I choose this one. I will begin. How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heming a Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place. That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. The Jarl thing is tomorrow, and a Jarl must be chosen. I should speak with Suniva about this. Did you consult the Volva? And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered, others I must answer myself. Do you think there is a place for Vili in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Trigvi in the high seat. Eivor, Trigvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl? old as I am. This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The flames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Vili. Trikvi. Each man wears one of Hemminger's boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire for your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Snottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire. A man the people can trust. Most love Vili, and he loves them. But he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn. But does he wish to? And Trikvi, sturdy and wise, and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault. But he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor, put a stop to this fool's death wish. This is no small decision, Trikvi. And not without great cost. The Shire will be diminished without you. But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. When people look to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Heminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Heminger were here, would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? And was your vow to serve Heminger Jarl unto death, or to serve his legacy and life? I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor. More than I could have guessed.
Eivor! <gasps> Suniva! Picts were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave chase. Arsh stick. You should have roused me first. Show me where he went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with Picts. I can take them on myself. Tell me where. They're not far. I'll show you. His rage has consumed him, Eivor. All this anger, this sadness, it has truly taken form. Our stick was never one to temper his emotions. This was bound to happen. I should have been more vigilant. Do not blame yourself, Drenkur. He always had me to watch his back, as children. And again now, if this rampage is what he needs to rid himself of the sick that binds him, I will at least make sure he does not hurt himself. <laughs> Thank Odin he has the mighty wolf kissed as his shadow. There are things we do for family, Suniva. No questions asked. For you, I would have done the same. For any of Raven Clan. We know, Drenkur. That is why we are sworn to you. Here, Eivor. This was where Ville saw the scout killed and then charged after the enemy ahead. I will head back to him. This place is heavily guarded. Stop, Vili. They're gone. It's done. Bah. I've seen roosters fight with more spirit. Oddly enough, so have I. That sound. Is it thunder? Footsteps. We need to fall back. Follow me. Quickly! Was it not? Just like when we were children getting into trouble and getting away. Save your honey words for when we get out of here alive, our stick. Ah, my sword's thunder hammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavanger? I do. Kjotve the Cruel trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools, foaming at the mouth. We taunted them from the treetops. <laughs> and the drunk one, remember? Naked as the morning, froze his cock off trying to find us. Then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <sighs> Were you glad to hear from me? I did wonder what trouble you had been up to. 
But I smiled at hearing your name, and I wondered if you had taken after your father. If you were now leading your clan. Well, you have your answer. I'll sooner take after a troll and leave this clan in your hands. That I will not do. When my father was named Jarl, he had no one to help him, and still he triumphed. But I am not my father. I... I simply want to roam. Do you think Slipnir would be content bound to a stable? No matter how glorious it may be. Hey! What is that for? You have friends, Vili. And what about Trikvi? And me? And your clan? Of course. I know that. You can't roam forever. Keep that in mind. You are surrounded by those who love you. And that will not change. Unless you push it all away. You... You speak a truth, I understand. Troll-faced Arstic. <laughs> a chicken Draugr. Is such a thing possible? For that does not seem possible. Voda too. A water infused with fire. I do not lie. <laughs> Your father's death aside, Billy. This has been... good. Fun even. Do you ever wonder what might have happened if we had not been separated by the North Sea so early in our lives? What adventures we would have had. The raids, the battles, the glory. I even think about what we might have been to each other. I have, fondly. And often enough that it sometimes seemed you never left. Maybe you never did. I... I want you, Eivor. Your warmth. Your touch. Like this. I cannot say how I will feel tomorrow, Eivor. Shut up, Billy. Billy, you know that... That this was momentary heat, just a flickering flame. Yes. We let our passions set sail just this once. I should get back. Rest. The funeral will still be there when you wake up fully. Billy, gone already. To prepare for the funeral, I imagine. So many Danes, so many Norse. This will be the send of Heminger deserves. All the. F I hardly recognized you outside of your cave. I regret not seeing my great Jarl again. You have done him a kindness by being here. Now do him one more. Have another drink, or ten. All the funeral preparations are in order. Be patient, Heminger Jarl. We're about to send you on your final journey. Will your guard water survive these flames? It will. And should Heminger Jarl so desire, our god will be ready to accept him into the kingdom of heaven. No longer besieged by chickens, I see. Throw the dragons on the fire with the great yard. We shall devour them together. Tell me. What funeral gift did you manage to offer your Jarl? Some Voda survived the fire. It will keep Heminger warm in Odin's hall. If he's not careful, that Voda will burn all of Valhalla down. I've not seen your face among the Heminger clan. From where do you hail? I come on behalf of the mighty Haftan Ragnarsson of Northumbria to deliver a gift to the departed Heming Jarl. These people are good drinkers and good warriors. Haftan will be pleased. Brothers! Sisters, kin and clan, it is time. Sure, old friend. 
It is good to see you here. Is Luvina here as well? One of us had to stay in Jurvik. She wishes she could be here, but alas, our duties never rest. Aye, never. Only Heminger Jarl has that privilege now. Eivor, my father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral gifts, all but you. Present what you have, and the celebration may begin. I have it here. In council, you were the wisest. At the hearth, the kindest. In battle, the bravest. May the sign of Vegavisir, the rune of the way, guide you to the hall of many doors. Stand at my side. Speak from your heart, Heminger son. Today we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire. My father. Our father. He was a towering force. A strength to fear and admire. Now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you. His love for battle, but also peace. For wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity, his spirit. In you I see his life and his love of drink. God, did he love drink! <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. Father, we shall be to our children what you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again. Give him a fine farewell. Sunua, ride to Hemthorp and prepare the longhouse for the Althing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat. Who will become the next Jarl? Does it pass from father to son? I, the person... Have they given their Jarl a fine farewell? They have. None drank so well and so deeply as Clan Hemminger's son. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember our names. I agree. Call on those who must attend. The Alding will begin shortly. You look uneasy. Burdened by grief, 
drowning in mid. And paralyzed by a sword, I stand between that man and Hjaldum. You stand side by side, Vili. One of you must step forward. My father placed us side by side, because he trusted your vision. So what do you see? I see a Drenger before me. A man who yearns for the glory of battle. Trigve should be Jal. And you... You should follow your own path, wherever it may lead. Off a cliff and into the ocean, if that is what you need. <laughs> you know how to ruin a good moment, Wolfgist. Some time ago you asked about living with us, as one of our war band. Is that something you still want? To raid with you and Bragi? Gods, yes. Imagine the blood and mead we would spill. For old times, then, and new alike. Watch the look on the old man's face when he hears what we have planned. I stand before you as Willy Hemminger's son. But not as a Jarl. There is only one man with the needed honor and wisdom. Only one man my father deemed worthy of following him. Trigvi, Jarl of Snottingham. May you walk proudly in Hemminger's path. What is this? Old friend, you deserve this. And so much more. Be proud. My future is elsewhere, Trigvi. I will go with Eivor, to live and fight beside the Raven Clan. I... I do not know what to say. Say yes. Yes. Thank you, Vili. Eivor. Well done, Arstig. Until my path leads me home, I serve under your banner, Eivor. Eivor, let my first decree be Hemminger's wish, an alliance between our people. When you call, we will rise. As we shall for you, Trygve Jarl. Ran, we will want to know about this. It is time I return to the settlement. No one can live up to Hemminger Yarl, but I will do my best to serve in his stead. Thank you, Eivor. I entrust Vili to you. I bring fair tidings, Ranvi. Hemminger Jarl in Snottinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He has now joined our clan and will serve as a raider on my ship. I remember the young man. He will make a fine addition to your crew. I want to see the Alliance map. Python received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you. But that is nothing you cannot handle. If you go, do not go boldly. I'll make my way to Winchester. 
The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. Vili! Making yourself at home? As best as I know how, it is good to be here with you and your people. I feel my life has found a new road. Good, and just so you know, we have all kinds of sticks nearby. Oak, beech, pine, in case your bum starts itching from sitting too long. How kind of you, Eivor. I will be sure to stir your soup with one after I have had a sound scratching. Ah, a new letter. The seat of King Alfred's power, where hawkshit stains my boots. I will find the man in white in their god's house. This must be the house of their timid god. They built him a rich dwelling. <laughs> 